Is it time to, Dutch, to, to ditch rural Britannia at the problems? Prince Harry's wedding cellist, Sheku Kanu Mason, has revealed that he left last year's Last Night at the Problems performance early because the song made him feel uncomfortable. Let's take a listen to last year's performance where a rendition of the anthem was performed and sung by an excited and patriotic crowd. Well, activist Femi Olawole agrees and says the song is fundamentally racist boasts about Britain's involvement in the slave trade, but author and campaigner Dr Alka Segor Cuthbert says Rule Britannia's lyrics aren't racist, but instead patriotic. Very good morning to you both. Femi, you can understand how Sheku feels when he says he actually left. He was the soloist last year at the last night of the proms, but he left and he wants people to understand they might feel great singing it. It makes other people feel uncomfortable, you yeah, included. Yeah, because the UK was actively kidnapping and enslaving millions of black people between the 1500s and the 1800s, and that song was written in the 1700s. So it was written by a society that was engaged in the slave trade, basically celebrating how we ourselves will never ever be slaves. So it was boasting about our position at the top of the food chain. So quite frankly, if you're happy to sing a song that celebrates slavery, you go right ahead. But my generation, millennials and Gen Z, want nothing to do with you. Mm. We've got higher priorities in terms of equality, namely um, improving, making CVs anonymous, job applications anonymous, so that if you have got a black sounding name, you don't have to send 80% more applications to get a call back, that sort of thing. Okay. Not singing, celebrating slavery. The actual poem, Femi, was, um, was written for a mask performed in the early 18th century about Alfred the Great um, from the 800s defending himself <laughs> against Viking invaders. So not being slaves was about the Anglo-Saxons not being overrun by the Vikings a thousand years before. So is it actually about slavery? Well, that may have been where his original fear of the UK becoming slaves, but it was that still... That was a poem? Yeah, it may have been where his original fear of the UK becoming <clears> slaves <throat> came from, but it was sung by people that were actively engaged in the sure. slave trade. So yes. it was Can celebrated. So, so it's music from that period which is the problem? It's, it's mu well, it's music from that period. If, if you had a group of people that were um, committing some sort of assault and they bragged about how they were never going to be assaulted, that's obviously going to be a song you wouldn't sing. Mm. Dr Alka... Do you feel uncomfortable listening to it? Um, well, I, I, I think my feelings as, a, as an individual are irrelevant in this. The song is not racist, it's a patriotic song, and there's a difference. I'm sure there are a lot of patriotic people in the West Africa squadron, um, the naval West African squadron, who were involved in, um, when they ruled the waves, were involved in stopping slave ships, right, and freeing a lot of people. There was, uh, I think, over 160,000. African people who would have been slaves were not slaves because of the, the navy, right? So it's 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 not a it's not a racist song, um, and I think Sheku um, Kanu Mason, who I heard on the interview, mm. is a really impressive young man, and I think people should not hate on him on Twitter like some have been doing. Um, he believes in universal the universal beauty of classical music. He doesn't think it's only for white people. He's not a decolonising activist. But he makes the point that this particular song mm. makes some people feel uncomfortable and therefore it shouldn't be right. performed. And, in fact, he left the last night of the proms before it was mm. performed. And, as Femi mm. says, if it makes people uncomfortable to the point where people don't want to stick around for it, is that not a good reason to get rid of it? You know, it... it, it they, people might think it's almost perverse to keep it in if it. Well, I if think people you, can't have, you have to, to you have to think about the the specifics here. The proms were set up to popularise classical music for a lot of ordinary people. It's a fifteen minute slot at the end of a week, week you know, a festival that lasts mm -hmm. weeks, um, and it's and it's actually when you listen to people singing it, they do it. There's all sorts of reasons. There will be some people who are you know, feeling very, very mm. genuinely patriotic. Some people who are doing it mm. the half, halfway. But I bet the majority, you know, majority of people will probably be doing it with that very sure. British thing of a kind of affectionate self-parody. And, and there, there, those are all good reasons. And there's often quite a lot of, of, of European flags being waved. Yeah, but I find this idea of it being patriotic can be completely just wrong because it's the opposite of patriotic. It's highlighting one of the worst things our country has ever it done. Isn't. I it's disagree shaming with our you. country. If you want Absolutely to sing a patriotic not. song, Absolutely sing about some of the not. great stuff we've done. Don't sing about how we killed and enslaved people. Well, okay. it isn't. It's um, not about that. I think, and the point is, uh, something like a public institution or a public event has to weigh up st different things, right? So the personal feelings of an individual have to be weighed up against, you know, the feelings of a lot of other people okay. who enjoy it. Well, let's have a look at the feelings of a lot of people. Uh, one in five 
Yes, let's get rid of it. But almost 80% say no. Hang on to rule Britannia.